they like to carry these news because to Americans, oh, that's some African, some tribe in Africa. Oh, you see, the thing just goes over your head like this. You won't make meaning out of it. But meanwhile, millions of people are being killed. So what we are saying here is that this today is 28th of May. We are supposed to celebrate our heroes. Those heroes who died, we are supposed to be celebrating. That's why you see these people here. They are all bear friends. We are celebrating our heroes. People who died, who know us. People who even didn't know us. If you look there, you're going to see Steve. You see, this is Bruce Merrick. Bruce Merrick, who is it? Look at it. Read that there. Bruce Merrick, this is where he died, right there, in 1968. Bruce Merrick died there. Because of their friends, Bruce Merrick died. Bruce Merrick is a Long Island, uh, uh, um, sorry, a Columbia University, 20 year old young man, very, very br bright and brilliant. He knew at his age, he knew what was going on. So he knew that their friends that were being killed in Biafran land. And he protected everything he could to get the attention of uh, Richard Nixon. But he couldn't. Being frustrated, he lit himself on fire here at the United Nations. And it was just to drive the message home. For them to understand the need to stop killing people and stop the, the massacre in Biafra land. It's been going on for so long. How long are we going to endure this? The same, the same psychological effect he had on, on, on Steve Jobs. This is Steve Jobs here. In 1968, Steve Jobs took a mag Time Magazine uh, newspaper, the magazine, and went to his pastor and asked him, does God know about these children that are standing? I mean, at 10 years old, he could not believe it. He could not believe it that this type of atrocity could happen. And Steve Jobs asked his boss, his uh, pastor, is this true? Can this really happen? When the pastor told him, oh, God knows everything, say, I will not worship that God that knows everything that can't do anything about this. And Steve Jobs rejected his faith. And to God Almighty, Chukwoki Kiapiyama, whom we call Chukwoki Kiapiyama, you guys call him God in English. We call him Chukwoki Kiapiyama because we are Israelites. You hear me? Chukwoki Kiapiyama brought him to where he was before he died. The CEO of Apple. That's what it is. Up here you see, these are people who gave their life for Biafra. In 1967, 68, 69, and 1970. These are people. Look at them. Missionaries who gave their life for Biafra. Up here, these are our generals. The second in command is the, the first in command, the, the people's general. These are people who gave their life for our people. So it's a very big story. If you go online, you're going to see Biafra's everywhere. We are everywhere. People walk around and they say, oh, what are they saying? Uh, they're stupid. What is that there? Yes, it, you can do it because you're complex. You have enough and you, you, things are okay with you. You don't have anybody killing your mother or, or father or sister. But we have our brothers dying every day. That's why we forgot everything we have today to come here to honor them. You have any more questions, sir? God bless you. Nice to meet you. Huh? Walking up hell. Well, if you want to hang around with us and fly flower flags, why not? We have a t shirt. We have a t shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you learn a little more as you, as you see that around. Yes, Umunem, they won. My brothers, the floor is open. We are beer from people. We are republic. We have opportunity to say what we want, when we want to say it, here we want to say it. All of you, all of our brothers and sisters who want to say something about their fatherland, please come. All hail Biafra.
Oh, he'll be up front. Today, what's your back? What's your back? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. Today, we are all here to remember our people that were murdered by British and the Zoo government. When we say Zoo government, that means Nigeria. We're supposed to have these on the cartridge. That means on Monday. But we cannot get the pack. Even here, where we are now, they just give us only two hours to observe our students because today is Shabbat. So we are observing Shabbat our brothers. This was the reason why I said to Uche before that we have our reason of bringing our rally and the demonstration here in the ground of the United Nations right across. This is the area where our brother Mayro, uh, Bruce Mayrock bought a picture on himself and bought himself alive and died for Biafra. He's not an evil or evil, he's a white man, but he believes in Biafra. He kills himself and some other people like that. They die for the cause of Biafra in this area. So that's why we choose this ground to do the remembrance of our heroes. The reason why we are here today is to wake up the spirit of this young man, Bruce Mayrock, and our children that were starved to death. They were poisoned, not starved to death. They put poison in their food. That's why you can see their stomach is swollen up. The British put poison on their food and they were poisoned. These are the pictures we have here. Um, please, um, no, I want to find, um, listen, um, I'm, very, I'm, I'm a safety guy. I've been in the military, I know what safety is. There's a briefcase that's behind it. Does anybody know about if that briefcase comes with the, the sculpture, the statue? Does that briefcase come with the statue? If he doesn't come with the statue, we have to move the other side. For the same reason. That briefcase over, does he come with a statue? Yes. Does he come with a statue? And we have to move back a little bit. Does he come with it? Now I'm doing it. This is safety. The, the most important thing, you know, the safety comes first. Okay? If it's an explosive, it will affect a lot of people here. I know how it works. He comes with it. Okay. Yes. Because if, if it's an explosive, it would it would kill a lot of people. I know how it works. Okay. Somebody so if, gotta be sure. I want to be sure. And safety comes first. If that briefcase comes with that statue, fine. If it doesn't, you have to move away from here. You're going. Let them come and figure it out. It has nothing to do with us. So, but but uh, let me see. Sorry, sorry, before you call the cops, you can just check the efficacy of the security guy. No, that's in that's in the mold in the mold that we're asking. What's that? We're not sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. My fellow people, I was saying that the reason why we are here today no. is to wake up the security.
that's why we are here today. So we call to Kukikabia to resurrect the spirit of those that were murdered okay. by the British they come. Okay. and the Nigerian and the Buhari to rise up in battle. Yes. And make sure there's no peace in that Nigeria yes. until it disintegrates into yes. pieces. Yes. And out of the pieces, Biafra will come. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. All right. All hell Biafra. Oh, please, please, please. They wake up. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. himself on fire. He had right to re leave, but he was fighting for me. He was fighting for us. He was fighting for Biafra. He was fighting so that we can be a people. You know that I am disgusted. I am disgusted with the Igbos that I meet and I tell them about Biafra and they tell me, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. You people are troublemakers. Why are we troublemakers? Have we ever, since you heard about 